so you should give the answers in the comment section so that it will be a revision for you so let's start with today's quiz one answers okay so first question was in gold monetization scheme what is midterm and long term period so let's see what is the right answer of this and the right answer of this question is midterm will be 5 to 7 years and 12 to 15 years will be long term okay so let's see our next question question number 2 so question number 2 was sukanya samriddhi scheme withdrawal of up to a maximum of dash percent of the amount in the account at the end of financial year preceding the year of application for withdrawal shall be allowed for the purpose of education of the account holder so friends sukanya samriddhi mein jo bhi account holder hai uske education ke liye hum kitna withdrawal allow kar sakte hain so let's see what was the uh, what's the right answer and the correct answer is 50% so 50% jo hai wo withdrawal allowed hai okay let's see next question question number 3 so this is question number 3 related to in banking ombudsman where the deficiency is visible concerned branch has to redress the issue within a maximum period of dash working day so jo bhi deficiencies hai branch mein use kitne din mein use solve karna hai aur wahan pe jo hai uh, jo branch hai wo le sakti hai assistance le sakti hai guardian le sakti hai regional office or central office se. let's see what is the right answer correct answer of this is five working days so let's see now friends our next question question number four so question number four is any person aggrieved by an order of drt in an application filed by the borrower under surface act can prefer an appeal along with prescribed fee to drat within dash days from the date of receipt of order of drt and no such appeal by a borrower shall be entertained by drat unless the borrower has deposited dash percent of his dues so friends agar kisi ne drt kisi ko drt ka jo order hai he is not satisfied agar koi person hai wo satisfied nahi hai drt ke order se so uske baad jo hai use kitne din ke andar wo drat mein appeal kar sakta hai aur uske liye uske kitne rupaye kitne percent apne due ke jo hai uh, deposit karne honge so let's see what is the right answer correct answer is 30 days within 30 30 days उसे जो है DRAT में apply करना है और 50% of his dues अगर उसका 1 लाख रुपे का due है तो उसे 50% amount means 50,000 जो है उसे deposit करना होगा then only he can appeal in the DRAT let's see next question question number 5 do step banking service booked after 3pm to be completed by dash next working day तो friends यहां पे आपको बताना है कि अगर 3pm के बाद अगर कोई रिक्वेस्ट आती है डोर स्टेप बैंकिंग में तो उस टाइम पे आपको कब तक वो रिक्वेस्ट कंप्लीट करनी है नेक्स्ट वर्किंग डे तो फ्रेंड्स इसका जो राइट right आंसर है दैट इज 1 पीएम ऑफ नेक्स्ट वर्किंग डे तो नेक्स्ट वर्किंग डे के 1 पीएम से पहले पहले दैट रिक्वेस्ट शुड बी डिस्पोज्ड ऑफ लेट्स सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 सो फ्रेंड्स एनईएफटी रिटर्न नॉट रिटर्न इन टाइम so as agar koi nft aa jati hai hamare paas wrong aur hum use timely agar return nahi karte hain what is the penalty so let's see what is the right answer correct answer is repo plus 2% to agar koi nft return aa jati hai aur agar bank usse nahi return karta hai timely then that bank has to uh, give this penalty that is repo rate plus 2% okay let's see next question question number 7 so 10000 dollar invert remittance received so which rate will be applicable so the right answer is tt buying rate so tt buying rate will be applicable for this and let's see next question question number 8 who issues sovereign gold bond so this is a very easy question friends so the right answer is rbi reserve bank of india let's see our next question question number 9 dd or banker's check should be crossed if the amount exceed so kitne se friends amount agar exceed karta hai to hame crossing karni hai dd ya banker's check pe let's see right answer correct answer is rupees 20000 and above so friends is question mein kai bar aisa uh, like there will be uh, rupees 20000 20000 and above to is tarah se confusion hogi so you, the right answer will be 20000 and above not only 20000 okay let's see next question question number 10 which is the last question and that is related to the full form so it is a very easy so you can see these are the five six 
NPCI National Payment Corporation of India TLTRO Targeted Long Term Repo Operation IMPS Immediate Payment System NCLT National Company Law Tribunal SIRSI Central Registry of Securitization Asset Reconstruction and Security Interest of India and LIBOR that is London Interbank Offered Rate. So friend, th these are the 10 questions which were asked in yesterday quiz. So only two candidates have given the answer and but it was watched by more than 100 candidates but only two candidates have given the answer. So you should give the answer in the comment section. Okay friends, thank you. Thanks for watching. So I hope so you are benefited from this video. So please like this video and share this video with your friends who are preparing for bank promotion exam and subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed. Thank you friends. Have a nice day.